So in today's video, I went through features that I hate in Greenville. Now before I do start this video, everyone, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. It will be greatly appreciated, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty, guys, so the first thing that I will be moving on to here is tire popping. So if those of you who don't know, in Greenville, if you go over a certain speed limit, over like bumps and stuff like that, usually your tire will actually pop. Now when this feature first came out, your tire is pretty much popped like if you even just went a little bit fast over a curb and they would just completely die however they did line up nerfing it a little bit except it's still way too it happens way too often especially when i'm like live streaming and stuff like i could probably honestly pop it right here uh let's see okay that should pop the tire so yeah as you can see both of my tires on this side popped so none of these tires popped but these two actually did and it, it's not like it's realistic i guess but like it's it's very annoying especially since you like can't really fix it on the spot unless you're actually on the correct tires plus team to do so or if you have somebody else to fix them for you and it is like really annoying because in my streams i'm always finding myself having to either have somebody there to fix it for me or i just have to respawn it every single time so my suggestion for to greenville to i guess like sort of reduce the annoyance of this feature is pretty much by making a thing in the settings that kind of makes it so you can toggle tire popping on and off so then you can kind of just decide if you would like to have you know tire popping on or off because it can get quite annoying sometimes now the next thing is dirty cars now this one isn't as bad as tire popping to be honest because it doesn't actually affect your driving experience but it is quite annoying though because you guys also probably find that at the start of a lot of my videos you guys always see me going straight to the car wash and that's because that my cars always are dirty when i spawn them in as you guys can see right now my car is getting dirty and i'm going to admit the dirt does look quite sick on this thing but however on a lot of other cars though the dirt doesn't look that good and you're always having to find yourself going to the car wash now some may argue that this is a good feature because it may help people or it may teach people to drive better and i get people's point on this however it, from what i've seen at least in public servers as well it doesn't really help at all because i still see so many people you know b like driving terribly and their cars look like a complete mess so in my opinion at least it's not really the best and yeah, again, I would recommend having a, like an option in the settings that you, so you can like toggle it on and off, like with the tire popping. And I know that it might take the realism out of the game a little bit more. However, it would just be a lot like better in my opinion because people get the option then if they want to actually, you know, have to go over to the car wash and stuff like that. Now the next one is gameplay pause. So many of you guys probably know this as a very annoying thing so this usually happens on lower end devices but even in my case i have like a pretty decent gaming pc and it even happens to me sometimes and i mean i don't think this is necessarily greenville's fault i do think it's a roblox feature however i do feel like i do think greenville has the option to turn it off because i don't think southless florida has it because on my ipad when i play greenville on there it like it gameplay pauses almost every second however with southless florida it like never does so yeah, I wish Grimfall didn't have the gameplay pause thing because it is so annoying in a lot of cases. I don't think I'll be able to get it over here. However, Greenville did actually make their own sort of menu thing for the gameplay paused. But yeah, it's not very good. It is quite annoying, to be honest, because it just pauses your game and it's it's not fun. So yeah, I really wish Greenville didn't have this in the game. And if there is any way for them to actually remove it, then I would highly recommend it. I mean, unless there's some like technical thing behind it, so they actually have to have it on, then I'd highly recommend. I I would highly recommend removing it to be honest, because it is quite annoying, especially for people on lower end devices. Now the next one is one that has been triggering me for quite a while now. So this is tire marks when braking. Now if you're going extremely fast and you brake, I can get that the tire marks do show up because you're going extremely fast. But if I'm just going 54 miles per hour and I just slightly tap on my brake. I shouldn't be getting tire marks like that and also if I have my volume on as you guys can see there you can literally hear the sound like making that squealing noise I guess whenever I hit the brakes 
And I mean, I guess it's kind of realistic. However, it's not the best to be honest. And if it was real life, your tires wouldn't like make that much marks just from lightly braking your car. And you may say, okay, well then just turn your braking mode onto smooth. And I guess that is kind of a good alternative. But the only problem to that is that the braking is extremely slow. And even then, it still occasionally happens. It happens a lot less to be honest, but it still does occasionally happen. And I would honestly just like, like, I don't want them to completely remove it, obviously. However, I do think it would be cool if they could just, like, reduce it a little bit. Because even there it happened and I'm on smooth braking right now. So, I do wish there was something that they could do to, like, sort of reduce it in a way. Uh, and make it so it doesn't happen as often as it does right now. Because even when I have it on instant brakes, if I'm just, like, lightly tapping it, it still usually happens quite a lot. And it can get quite annoying in some cases and make the driving experience feel a lot more unrealistic. And guys, the final thing is one of the most annoying things in Greenville in my opinion and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with me on this as well. So this one is actually performing actions too quickly. So for those of you guys who don't know what I mean, let's say that I spawn out a car normally. So as you guys can see there, even from me just spawning that out, it's still saying that I, I'm performing actions too quickly. But if I just spawn this car out here, everything's completely fine. But let's say I spawned the wrong car by accident and I want to do that. Then oops, I'm performing actions too quickly so then I try it again. It still does it. And only then it actually does it. And sometimes it's even worse than that. Or, for example, let's say that I spawn it in the wrong place. And then it just says that I'm performing actions too quickly. So then I try and spawn it here too. And, I mean, I, it did it there, surprisingly. But a lot of the time it just does not like to spawn in. So as you can see there. And then, boom, it won't let me spawn it back out here again. Which, it, it's a bit annoying sometimes. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with me here. That the timing on this is, like, really, really bad. I I'm pretty sure the reason why it is this long is just to avoid people spamming out their cars for no reason. However, I don't think it has to be like that much of a wait, I guess, to be able to spawn in your car again if you messed up the, you know, the spawn positioning of it. Because it can get a bit annoying sometimes, as you can see. I even think NZ might have made a video on it once before. So, yeah, that kind of just shows. But yeah, I hope they do eventually slow that down, like slow the timing down on it a little bit because it can get quite annoying in some cases. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did happen to enjoy the video again, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. So anyways, see you later and goodbye.